Hi, this is Dave with NTI Online, and today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the water pressure switch on your TRX 85, 110 Combi, 120, and 150 Combi. This procedure applies to both the Series 1 and Series 2, which has the newer display. Before you begin this procedure, you need to isolate the boiler from the heating system and drain the water from the boiler. Next, you're going to disconnect the electrical plug and power down the boiler. Open up the front cover and we're going to loosen and push this side over so that we can gain access to the switch. Now the water pressure switch is on the right hand side in the very back of the cabinet and the easiest way to get at this is to loosen and push the side of the boiler off to one side. To do that, there's a screw in the top and another in the bottom. These are a Phillips number two. Then in the middle at the top and in the back at the bottom, there's a Torx T20 screw. Remove both of those. And then hold on to the base of the boiler and push the side over a few inches so you can now get access to the water pressure switch. So the water pressure switch is connected with three brown wires in the very back of the boiler. So find the three brown wires, gently push on the, the tab, and then you can remove the electrical connector. Just below the pressure sensor, there's a little metal wire clip with a little U-bend in it. You're going to push that to the rear of the boiler and pull your water pressure switch out. Once you have your switch out, you're going to take the new one and reinstall it in the same fashion. So you're going to put it back into there, push it down firmly, put your finger on the metal clip and pull it towards the front of the boiler. Give this a firm tug to make sure it's properly seated and the clip is grasping. Then you want to find your brown wires and reconnect them. 